Hello, hello, hello! Again, I'm playing some more of Dishonored. Why? Because I have heard that Dishonored... Well, Dishonored 2 has plenty of technical bugs, and so I'm not quite ready to commit before they roll a patch out and fix that. And so I decided to, you know, have fun with Dishonored 1. Well, I can! Hello. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is I guess. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I you are too kind. And this is my mark. There are uh -oh. forces in the world and beyond the world. Great Magical powers incoming! And now, these forces will serve your will. Thank you. Use this newfound power. I like you. My gift to you. And my gift to you is all the chaos and death that I will create with my vengeance and wrathful evilness. Yes, impressed, I know. So this is Blink. It's an awesome magic spell. Oh god. Down memory lane, I know. You cannot save her, you cannot save her, okay. Gee, you think? I'm waiting for my mana to restore. See? It's bad to waste mana. Uh-oh. This, I do believe, is trying to tell me something. Corvo, I'm very sad. They say that you are dead like mother, but I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it. So please, come for me if you can. I will come, daughter of mine, I will. I promise. Let's see if there are any secrets. Well, I'm on a plant, which is impressive, but not too secretive, I suspect. Ah, oh, look, more spiritual remedies. Ah, uh, the Spy Master. I dislike you, Spy Master. If I could, I would stab you right here, right now. And now look. Injustices. Sadly, I cannot take this obviously incendiary ammo. Oh well. These guys are not pleasant for the record. Let's move on. Uh oh. A rock floating all by its lonesome. It must be horribly lonely. Now what is this? Sure, let's move on. I could have just blinked down there, but... You know, I like to check every nook and every cranny. I love the ambiance of this. Look at the whales. This is all very much like reading Neil Gaiman's Sandman. Which, in case you don't know anything about... You should. Did I just... Haha, <laughs> I managed to defeat the dark magics of this candlestick. In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. I should probably put subtitles. See the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. Oh my. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. It is very Listen much a mechanical heart. And find another room. Yes, sir. Uh. 
Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charms, runes, even through walls. The heart beats and lights up when you are facing a bone charm or rune, and it beats faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press the right mouse button while targeting a person or location. That was very awesome, but I'm going to add some subtitles. General Kingplay Subtitles User Interface Okay, I'm obviously missing the bit with the subtitles. No way is it here. On FXA video settings. Of course, it's not going to be here. Audio. Subtitles mode. Why are the subtitles in the audio? Doesn't make any damn sense! All the time is meaningless here. Neither seconds nor centuries. Well, that makes me feel much better. That was awesome. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and bones is not like to be. The sheer amount of coolness put in this entire level shows just how imaginative this and insane. Is from which those who dabble in black arts draw their power. In these places they're doomed. I can feel the great age ending. Well, that is reassuring, I suspect. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. I suspect that falling down would be a bad idea. All the time is meaningless here. Oh. Seconds, no centuries. You keep saying that. I'm just checking, just checking. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. It's difficult for me not to use this heart constantly. Yeah, fair enough. Very interesting. I wonder if the blue has some specific meaning. Once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the powers section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. Gee, thanks. Can I upgrade Blink? No, I cannot. But I can save my runes and do it. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Well, that sure is reassuring. Being watched by a god at all times is certainly enough to make me happy and giddy. I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to take it. Oh, lovely. Bone charms provide small supernatural benefits. Oh, I do believe I know this was some sort of a... Oh my. Some sort of a pre-order bonus, right? Of course, I'll tell you, dearie. I won't keep any secrets from you in the end. All the dreary days of my life are like the windows of a house. From the kitchen, I can see out into the garden where the leaves and stalks are brown and bug-eaten. You can see a little lump of dirt where something was wrapped in a blanket and laid to rest along the rows of twisting vines. 
Oh, I'm fairly certain that we are now talking about baby death. The front rooms look. The front room looks out into the street where the neighbors are all setting fire to their homes, barricading themselves inside, warm and snug, dearie. Don't forget about the bedroom either. It sees into a dreary alley where hooligans are playing a game with an old man. The first two are hitting him with sticks, and the girl with them is kicking at his dry old ribs. Oh, to have those bones to boil them in a pot. No one lives in my house anymore, dearie. No one you'd want to meet. When I lived there with my husband, we were fine, fine people. Vera Mori. Everyone would say your house is as grand as Ball Manor, better even. Your dinners are lavish and your parties are the best. When that young Sokolov came to paint my portrait, I was nearly still in my prime. Radiant, he said, and he was just barely a man. So young, painting all the best people across the land. Everyone wanted a portrait by his hand, all my friends. I was the only one, dearie wet with his pain glistening on the canvas for a pretty coin. But it wasn't all parties and paintings. My husband and I weren't always at home. No, no, we travelled together, he and I, to the far ends of the Isles, beyond even all the way to the red cliffs of Pandesia, to dig in the rock and crawl through the caves, holding up candles and squinting at the walls. Many precious things we came upon, but none so precious as the boy with the black eyes, dearie. All those marks and bones, scarfed so deep and polished so bright. I brought the old bones home, hid them from my dear husband. Then I learned to boil them and carve them myself. They made such good presents, dearie. The little mute boy took them home. He loved them so. All the time he came back with new bones for me, holding them up as I could see it in his eyes, even though his tongue was still. Granny, his eyes would say to me, carve these bones for me. Make me another present. And he went so far, so far all the way to Dunwall Tower, the royal headsman himself now. My little be mute boy and his shiny, shiny sword. Better bones were what I needed, you see. Better bones to carve and polish, scrape and gleam. My dear old husband was always tired. I made him soup and then he was sick. Better bones was all for my little mute boy, carved in the name of the one with black eyes. And after my husband was gone, given away as birthday gifts, I didn't want to live there any more. So now I'm old and don't have many to give my presents to. It's sifting through the garbage for granny rags and feeding the little birdies that gather at my feet. No one wants to have tea, dearie. Especially those rude louts on Bottle Street. Slockjaw and his boys always meddling with an old woman. Just trying to make her way. In the end, we'll be together with him. You and me in the dreary night with stars above and below. And always the one with the black eyes, dearie. That was disturbing in all the lovely ways. Yeah, let's pick the void channel. White rats can be consumed for mana, alright. And white rats won't attack me. So I guess that I'm... Uh... Gastronomer most sincere, loving all the white rats. Early life and criminal records, slugjaw. Yeah, I'm not going to read through that as well. Maybe when I'm all by myself. But for now, nah. -huh. So let's see what Attention we've got going for us today. Is from in the oh, look. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Somewhere in the basements below, Hal kills Hal, and money changes hands. Well, that's not creepy at all. This is what's going to murder me. Such 
Ooh. There we have it. And they're singing the old songs. Swimming in Oz. But that was from a happier time. Yes, now it's not a very happy t time, not at all. The powers you obtain from runes can be used creatively to defeat enemies and move through the environment. Blink from roof to roof, possess rats and fish, a slow time before rushing a group of enemies. Well, I must admit that I'm kind of a traditionalist and so I will do the best I can and upgrade my blink. Why? Because blink is an awesome, very useful spell and an upgraded blink is going to solve a lot of troubles that I may have early on, specifically, especially. I can use it to get up. That's how you do it. I'm just doing some slight exploration. Oh my! I found a map. Mysteries of Pandesia. I suspect that that's some kind of a continent beyond the Isles. Let's see. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandesian continent. Aha! As a place of wonder, where all of life has entwined and blossomed across aeons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. That's interesting. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies. They always do, don't they? Of cults of submen engaged in brothel, perverse rituals. From where Granny Rags managed to learn her craft, one would suspect. The few who have travelled to the far continent and come back to the Isles, those who have actually touched the soul there, have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles and outlandish creatures that defy belief. Cool, I wanna go there, maybe this on a tree, guys. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there, in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all ended in madness and failure. Let's do it all over again! Chugging bottles for the fun of it! Oh my, look at what I found. Oh, Attention. did I hear something? Sometimes at the beginning of the and sometimes the influence is the point of an eye. That doesn't speak too well of my allies now, does it? Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river. Men or hound. Well, let's get down to it. First off, All right. I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world. Hey, you don't see Our me complaining. Clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, Excellent. I overseer Campbell dies by your hand. Uh, I actually have something worse in mind. An army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal. Because we think my exploits aren't legendary. They the will be soon enough. Obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Excellent. Another I suspect. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the help pits. Oh, so I'll be saving stray pups now. Exciting. Let's see, heart. They anything you want to give me? But eventually ew, 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 ew. I do not want to drink river water wine. Sounds absolutely unhygienic. I simply refuse. Oh god. Hello. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. 
that wretched man. I'm There's pretty really sure no she's voiced by Lena Headey. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Sure I did. Well, I do believe I've got my tasks, I've got my optional tasks, and I even found another map which I'm going to sell to this here guy. Uh oh. Right. Anyway, I do believe we've played enough for one day, and I will be signing off right here, right now. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click on that like button. Please, please, please. Don't forget that I'm talking to you. You know who you are. Do not forget to click the like button. And thanks for watching again. Bye bye. Or rather, bye guys. Whichever one you prefer. Ha <laughs> ha.